Milwaukee's fire department. Mayor Bill de Blasio is expected to announce his choice for commissioner today. CBS News' Janelle Burrell joins us live from City Hall with the story. Janelle. And Mary, it's certainly a familiar face to those within the FDNY. Daniel Negro is a community a career firefighter, and he will be coming out of retirement to accept this new position that comes along with its challenges. He's an FDNY veteran with more than 30 years experience. And now at 65, Daniel Nigro is coming out of retirement to lead the department as its commissioner. Nigro, who stepped down from his post as FDNY chief in 2002, was widely regarded for his leadership after the September 11th attacks when more than 340 of the city's firefighters were killed. But when he takes the helm from outgoing commissioner Sal Cassano, he will be inheriting a number of challenges, including criticism about the department's response time to 911 calls. We have a status update on the uh, EMS to the bus. We, uh, we notified them twice. Uh, they, all they could tell us is that they're en route there. This radio call from last month in response to the desperate calls for an ambulance at a fire scene in Far Rockaway, Queens. While it took firefighters five minutes to get to the scene, EMS did not show up until 21 minutes after the call. Four-year-old Jelani Tinglin and his half-sister Ania were both killed. Another hurdle Nigro will face, diversifying the FDNY. The department is mostly male and is 90% white. In March, Mayor de Blasio's administration agreed to pay $98 million in back pay and benefits to settle a long-standing lawsuit that alleged the department discriminated against minority applicants. The department has since been required to change its recruitment policies. And the firefighters union is on board with this appointment, saying in part he has the experience to lead the FDNY into the future. Mayor de Blasio expected to make the formal announcement later this afternoon. For now, we are live at City Hall. Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News.